We are only one act of madness away from a social cataclysm unlike anything our country has ever known. EMP is one of a small number of threats that could hold at risk the continued existence of U.S. civil society. You want to think of that as a hurricane in space. Just one violent active region on the sun uh, can cause essentially continent-wide, perhaps even planetary scale uh, impacts uh, to our uh, critical infrastructure. As Dr. Lubchenco said earlier, it's not a question of if, but it's a question of when. The likelihood of a severe geomagnetic event capable of crippling our electric grid is 100%. We would be facing a public safety, a public health environment, a requirement to provide support to our citizens that would be unprecedented. There will be no supply of drinking water, no food, no gasoline, no transportation, no communication, no medical care. Uh, emergency services, government services, banking, finance. I want to say, and I want to say it very clearly and right up front, a solar magnetic disturbance, an electromagnetic pulse effect on our grids is inevitable. It's just a matter of time. And as I see it, and, and from the study and research we've conducted, civilization is entirely unprepared for this eventuality. Governments and corporations are used to dealing with crises by experiencing them and gradually learning how to respond. EMP and severe space weather are in a different category. We're talking about a black swan event which is not effectively survivable. What we've got to do is to bring to the attention of the world what is potentially the, the greatest catastrophe to have hit the world for centuries. We're finally starting to get beyond that, where we're no longer admiring the problem. People, uh, leaders, are starting to move forward and take action to fix it. For this kind of a problem, you have to invest in resilience. You have to take preemptive action. And you cannot retroactively invest in resilience once you see how bad the problem is. We've made a good start. We have an adequate understanding of the problem now to go forward and initial steps are being taken by government, by industry. We know what has to be done. The question now is how much time do we have? Will we get what we have to do done in time?